And then the final piece of equipment that was really difficult to get installed in the job, and it was very difficult to see, really, at this point, since we've capped the ceiling, is the HVAC system, which had to be separated from the whole building unit and, uh, and create uh, venting for whatever pet odors may come from the building and whatnot. So it, we installed what's called a split system heat. Um, so the building operates for the majority of the time, uh, which is 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, and then the independent heating system will kick on and, uh, and release uh, heat for the remaining hours of operation over the weekends and evening hours. But the one aspect of that system that we had installed specifically for this unit was to keep a negative pressure environment. So there's constantly more air re removed from the space than is coming into the space. So what that does is it creates a situation where animal scents are quickly removed from the building. This is the exhaust system coming out from the unit into the parking garage area here. You can see it's fire taped and blocked, prepared for its final inspection where it'll be, uh, the wall will be reassembled and sheetrocked. And then this larger pipe is our exhaust system coming out of the building. And you can see a little further down here just over this car that there's a large escutcheon. That's an inline fan and that's what creates the negative pressure in the system constantly drawing air out 24 hours a day, keeping a slightly higher, slightly low pressure within the building to keep those fumes coming out. And right next to it is a little harder to see, but there's a white pipe on the wall here, and that's the scavenger vent for the, uh, for the anesthesia and oxygen system. And up here is just a small unit, a squirrel fan, which when flipped on, runs that system and keeps the anesthesia moving out of the building. That's the basics of, uh, are installing here at Urban Animal.